short and sweet, guys. This is spiritual warfare. I've been saying it for three years now. You remember back in what? Back in the Obama administration when they legalized gay marriage. They said, we just want, you know, gay people to have the same rights, get married, you know, get on each other's insurance or whatever. Like, okay, that's cool, whatever. It's not a big deal. But then they slowly started tiptoeing towards blurring the lines of gender. And then it just got younger and younger and younger. And they added more letters to the LGBTQIA. And now we got Desmond is Amazing. And now here we are with Netflix normalizing it. You know, what was fringe is now being mainstreamed. And it just blows my mind that I know so many people that are like, these are just fringe ideas that you bring up, Mike. It's not like everybody agrees. It's not about everybody agreeing. It's about the fact that they're forcing it. They're superimposing a new normal onto everybody. They're making everybody basically accept it. It's like Netflix pushed back and said, well, it is technically, it's it's social criticism or some nonsense like that. Basically, we're flaunting it out there, but we're criticizing it. So it's okay to put these little girls on TV dancing sexually. It's like, what world are we living in, guys? This is insane. This is not something that needs to be normalized. Netflix is disgusting, and anybody that promotes Netflix is disgusting. I'm sorry. I got to cancel my Netflix account. I know I should have done it a long time ago. Don't judge me for that. But I, here we are, right? I'm canceling my Netflix. As soon as I get home, I'm almost at my house. And I'm just disgusted by this whole thing. And then you got weirdos like Trevor Noah talking about kids should be picking their own gender in response to the fire in California. Because I guess a gender reveal party firework blew up and caused that fire. But he's saying that should have never happened because kids should just be picking their own gender. See what I mean? See how you have this being normalized? It's on mainstream news. People are talking about it. People with big platforms, people with audiences are talking about it like it's just normal. Like, yeah, it's always been like this or gender is so outdated. And uh, yeah, we should we should just allow kids to pick their own gender. We should teach kids to put on condoms in elementary school. These things are happening. And for anybody convincing themselves that it's not happening, you're just trying to bury your head in the sand because you don't want to deal with reality. And I'm sick of it. More people need to speak up on this. People who just have regular profiles. You don't have to be a social media influencer. You don't have to be a content creator to stand up for what's right. We need to stand up for these kids. We need to protect these kids. We need to keep these pedophiles away from them. You know, as as a man of God, as a man of faith, I don't believe God put me here to pass judgment on people. I'm not here to, to dispense justice. That's what I meant to say. I'm not here to dispense justice. I know some people have more uh, strict or, I guess you could say, uh, hardline stances on this stuff. Like I, I know some people like Jericho Green will say like pedophiles need to just be drug in the woods and shot. I'm not, I'm not going that far with it. I'm saying only God can handle that. God can deal with them. They got to meet their maker and then they have to account for what they did on this earth. But in no way, shape or form am I ever going to accept the normalization of pedophilia, the normalization of sexualizing children, teaching them sex positions, how to put on condoms, And having them pick their own gender, blurring the lines, confusing them from birth. Leave these kids alone. And everybody, everybody should be boycotting Netflix. Everybody should cancel their accounts. They should be pressured out of business because this is wrong and it's evil and it's wicked. And we aren't going to stand for it.